Hello, myself Chirag Baloria. Today I have teach you nested if else in C programming. In C programming, top bottom approach, statements are executed sequentially. C provides two style of flow control to change the sequential execution of program. One is branching or decision making is deciding what action to take on particular bunch of statement or on a single statement. Second one is looping. Looping is deciding how many times to take a certain action on particular statement or bunch of statement. Decision making statement is depending on the condition block need to be executed or not which is decided by particular condition. So it is based on totally condition. So in C language there are three type of decision making statement if, if else and switch. Now this is the type of if statement. Today I have seen in this video nested if else statement. So if and else both are keyword of programming in C. So if is most basic part of decision making statement. It tells to program to execute a certain part of code only if particular condition is true. If uh, when condition is wrong then using else part we can create alternative block for if part. It is always optional. Uh, for example it is recommended to use when we are having alternate block of condition. So follow the flowchart to understand if else statement syntax. So this is not a simple if else, it is nested if else. Now flowchart is start. First condition one. If uh, there are two options, if condition is true or else part, it is false. If condition is true, then again second condition because this is nested if else. It means if else inside if, if else. So this is condition two. There are again two part if it is true or false. Now check if condition is two uh, condition one is true and condition two is also true then statement one will be executed when condition one is true and condition two is false then statement two will be executed. Now condition three if condition one is false and condition three is true then statement four will be uh, sorry statement three will be executed and condition 1 is false and condition 3 will be false so statement 4 will be executed so after all finally next statement will be executed uh, among all the condition uh, from all the condition any one condition executed so stop uh, now the syntax of nested if else statement Constructing the body of if statement is always optional. Create the body when we are having multiple statement. Uh, it means a single statement. It is not required to specify the body. It is already explained in simple if statement uh, video. So now this is if condition. Again if condition. So it is if in uh, if is inside the if condition. So this is called uh, nested if else. So if so this is if else then else part of particular main if so uh, now check if condition is true then again check the condition if condition is true this is a second condition so statement one will be executed uh, when first condition it is main if else so main if condition is true and uh, second uh, inside the nested part condition is wrong then else will be executed uh, from over here when main if condition will be wrong then else part will be executed then all if and inside the if else are ignored so this is one example of uh, uh, nested if else with the help of flowchart if a greater than b true then check a greater than c so it is also true then number a will be greater uh, when a greater than b is true check a greater than c no it's wrong then number c this is not a b it is c c will be greater a greater than b it's false then check b greater than c false then c is greater uh, when a greater than b yes uh, sorry false so check b greater than c true then b will be greater so particular number is greater after checking all of the conditions so flowchart will be stopped here now this is the example uh, 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 this example is based on previous flowchart so a equal to 5 b equal to 6 c equal to 3 now check 
a is 5 and b is 6 5 greater than 6 no condition is wrong so it is go over here else part and this f part, if part will be ignored so check b is 6 and c is 3 uh, 6 greater than 3 yes then percentage d greater b it means 6 is greater is the final output of this program thank you for watching this video please like share and comment on this video subscribe my channel on youtube chirag palodia thank you so much